Hi everyone, we're back with more Windows 8 RTM coverage. <clears throat> and um, probably the, you know, the biggest issue that I've had with uh, testing the RTM on actual hardware is the graphics drivers. Now, um, when I installed it and let Microsoft, uh, you know, just find download the the drivers, um, you know, it, it downloaded a graphics driver that was actually, you know, not bad. It was able to play some games, and uh, you know, it was perfectly fine for desktop use, but it didn't have the, uh, you know, the full OpenGL, uh, you know, version. Um, so like I couldn't even play Minecraft. Um, so I basically you know had to break down and uh, try to install the official AMD drivers. Uh, unfortunately, that uh, led me into multiple hours of cursing at the computer and AMD and their driver team uh, and the Windows 8 RTM build. Um, because while the Catalyst drivers wouldn't install, uh, there would be an error on the driver itself. Or there wouldn't be an error, but uh, after restarting, the desktop would just go all wonky and there would be lines through everything. And basically it was a clusterfuck. Uh, that's basically the only word that I can, you know, think of to describe this. And... Yeah... It just was not fun. And I tried 12.7 uh, beta. I tried 12.6. Uh, and I tried the uh, the graphics drivers that AMD put out specifically for the Windows 8 consumer preview. And <laughs> it was funny because the drivers meant for Windows 8 consumer preview just flat out would not install at all. Uh, the 12.7 beta... Uh, Catalyst would go through and uh, everything would appear to be okay but it would give a warning on the driver and while it said it was installed it was like it it wasn't actually running or it wasn't working properly uh, because if you go into device manager and you get the little you know exclamation and uh, says this device cannot be started blah 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 and 12.6 it would um, it would appear to it would just freeze on the Catalyst uh, install manager uh, part of the installation process. So you know it, you start up the you know Catalyst setup dot uh, you know exe and it installs Catalyst install manager and then it'll run through and install the you know drivers and Catalyst control center and you know all that stuff and basically it would freeze on step one which is installing the catalyst install manager which is well just sad um but uh okay so after you know three four hours of this and trying all kinds of you know various driver versions and uh compatibility modes and all that junk um found a way to actually get the drivers installed and i'm going to show you how to do that uh, so what you're going to want to do is, you know, put your mouse in the upper right hand corner to open up the little charms bar, click on settings, <clears throat> and click on control panel, and let's just do this, so that'll be easier for you guys to see once YouTube, uh, gets a hold of this, and I'm just going to want to go over here type in device and click on device manager and uh, under display adapters you're gonna see uh, you know this driver here and for some reason it's still labeled as the you know this is basically the default driver that Microsoft installs um, except that it's not it's actually 12.6 not sure what's going on there but anyway, uh, if you just have this driver, you're not going to have the full OpenGL and you're probably going to run into some errors with some games. So we're going to want to right click and choose properties. Excuse me. Um, Alright, and then you navigate over to driver and click on update driver. 
and then choose browse my computer and then uh, instead of choosing browse up here which would you know seem to be the logical course of action um, you're actually going to choose let me pick from a list and then uh, you're not going to choose these you're going to go over and hit have disk uh, then you hit browse uh, because for some reason if you hit browse on the previous screen uh, it just refuses to find them so all right as you can see in this massive uh, tree uh, all right so when you download the uh, catalyst install file for you know 12.6 or whatever from the AMD site um, you know it's, it's going to unpack all the files and the default location is C colon slash AMD and uh, so basically go through the setup process until it unpacks everything uh, but then cancel out so don't go through the normal setup process just let it unpack everything and then exit out of it uh, alright so then basically you're, you're gonna navigate through all this mess and go to the AMD folder then support then the driver version then within that folder packages within that folder drivers <sighs> within that folder display and within that folder uh, you're gonna get a uh, a folder called w76a underscore inf or something like you know something to that effect uh, which basically says that it's a you know windows 7 driver uh, and you're just gonna choose that folder and you know there's all the files it needs in here um, you might even be able to go down another you know level but you actually don't need to um, you're just gonna hit open I'm actually just gonna hit cancel uh, we hit open and it's gonna show up uh, here on the screen and you're gonna hit OK and it'll install it and it should be a heck of a lot more successful than trying to go through the um, actual catalyst install process because right now at least with the RTM I didn't have any problems with the consumer preview but with the RTM it's just oh it's a pain so oh so I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here so I I just downloaded blah cannot talk today alright so you know I, I basically just did a Google search for 12.7 uh, you know Catalyst Beta and we got this AMD support page and the driver download link I clicked on that and we end up with this file actually show it in folder alright so you're gonna want to run this but alright click through the UAC prompt probably didn't show up on the screen recorder but okay so this is the first step and it's just going to unpack everything and like I said this is the you know C colon slash AMD is the default location um, I'm just gonna hit install uh, it's actually not installing anything it's just copying uh, the, you know unzipping the file uh, into that directory um, <laughs> wait for this to complete yada 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 I'm sure this is quality entertainment here apologize for the voice I'm feeling a little under the weather but I wanted to get this out because it's a real pain in the ass and I hope that this will help you guys get the proper drivers installed alright so when this screen comes up just go ahead and cancel it because you don't want to go through this install process because uh, it will either freeze or air out on you so now you have go back over to your computer C and you now have this right here which is the you know folder that was extracted and you know basically that's the 12.6 that's the one that I've installed I'm actually going to try to install the 12.7 but I figured that it wasn't going you know it would get really wonky with trying to screen record you know graphical output while installing graphics drivers and I just didn't really want to jinx it but um, you know similar 
folder structure here, you know, packages, drivers, display, um, you know, 64 bit, and, you know, these are just setup files, the actual drivers in here. And, you know, that's where you get all the dynamic libraries and such that you need. Um, so, yeah, basically that's it. And now, instead of getting an error, um, can actually, you know, fire up Minecraft. Uh, you know, because it has the proper OpenGL stuff. Oh, look, there's my Minecraft name. Haha. Uh -huh. Um... So yeah, I mean, there's that, and I uh, hope that it helps you guys, you know, get your gaming on in Windows 8 RTM, and uh, I really hope that it helps, apologize for the voice, apologize for the ums, I'm, you know, still new with this YouTube stuff, uh, as far as being a video person, definitely, you know, been writing for a lot longer than I've been doing videos, uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and um, Thanks everyone for commenting on my previous videos and uh, have a good day.